Daddy's dungeon. Daddy's what? The fuck is Daddy's dungeon? Daddy's dungeon. <laughs> Daddy's fucking dungeon. I'm weak. Oh, Daddy, chill. Yeah. What the hell is even there? <laughs> <laughs> There was a, there was a, I was like friends with like this person on Twitter, um, long ass time ago, not anymore, but, uh, I remember she was telling me, she's like, yeah, I want to, my boyfriend, I want to trap him, like, I don't want him to leave. Wow, that's scary, dude. And she was like trying to get pregnant by him. I was like, dog, that's a little scary, dude. uh, You can't be doing that to somebody. You cannot do that to somebody. That's (laughs) fucked up. It's not very scary. That's it's a lot of like, scary, dude. It's like it's like rape in a way, but it's not. No, 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 no. That's that's yeah. like that's like consent, no consent. <laughs> that's like consent, no consent. Like uh, give it to you and take it back. Uh, you know. <laughs> but you know, can you uh, can you press charges for something like that? Uh, like, I don't for think example, so. I don't for think For example, so. that girl, that girl that was fucking, uh, she was fucking around on Drake. She was getting the condom, mm. trying to put the sperm in her vag. Tabasco, Tabasco, bitch. Yeah, too bad it had the last dab in there. <laughs> <laughs> too bad your pussy was on fire. <laughs> but can Drake, as an elite status man with a lot of money, do you think his lawyers can find something to press her with? Bro, oh, yes, yes. He wore a condom for a reason, yeah. and he knew bitches like, hey, bitches want my baby. They get that bag. <laughs> bitches want that baby. Hey, hey. I start putting hot sauce on that hoe. Adonis' mama got the bag. Adonis' mama got the bag. Hey, that's pretty. That's pretty because he actually wanted a baby with her. Adonis is awesome. I like that little dude. Do we He's know what cool. she looks like? I don't know, honestly. I forget. But I'm pretty sure I've seen her before. So do you think Drake is black? Drake is 100% black. Come on. Did you see that video? He was on Glee, dog. Huh? That, that, that was the that was Degrassi. Degrassi. Bro, did you see that video? I did like see two weeks video. ago. He's definitely black, bro. His without a doubters. Thing is the whole armor here of your of this mic stand, this whole thing. Yeah, what about it? That's how big it is. Oh, dude, bro, shows these. Yeah, it's huge. I don't know if that's him though. It could I, be. Could I didn't be. see it. I didn't see it. I, I looked it up. I didn't see it. But I've uh, never know. seen Degrassi either. I would imagine. <laughs> I just had to know if it was him or, or I just had to see how big it was. It's yeah, just yeah. a wiener, dude. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I get you. I got a smallest dick. I know that shit. I own it. See, and he's over here passing out loans to not even loans. He's just gifting shit to 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 people in his audience. You know what I mean? There was this chick. I seen a video. He threw the, someone threw a bra on stage. Uh-huh. It had writing inside of it, and I she was talking about paying off my student loans, one hundred thirty five thousand dollars. This isn't that. He was like. All right, I'll gift you this fucking hundred thirty-five thousand dollars for your loans. Get the fuck up here, bitch! Show me your titties. I don't bro. know. I don't know what he did. I don't know if you, you know he what they brought her backstage and did with the fucking Wu Tang Clan. Did that you one, know what that they, one girl? <laughs> you know what they say though? If you see her at a, if you see her at a course size seat in a season opener basketball game, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. She didn't pay off her debt, son. <laughs> I just want to meet somebody rich one day and just be like, hey, bro, I need like twenty. 20 racks see what like Mr. Beast bro I think you need Mr. Beast in your life I almost got got one day by Mr. Beast so this was like a few weeks ago and I was driving home and uh, sometimes like things I want to listen to is not on Spotify or whatever you know so I gotta go on YouTube okay okay. I just like listening to people eat or not eat but like I'm not I'm not ASMR? a ASMR no, ASMR no. type there's like a guy Mikey Chen shout out Mikey Chen Strictly Dumpling he'll never see this he's like millions of subscribers on both channels you never know you never, you never know. know. Mikey Chen, check us, check us out. Check us out. But he just like travels the world and just, hey, I'm trying this stuff today. This the, and just like just talks about it. It's fucking d- delicious. I'm Mikey Chen. Yeah. So I was trying to find one of his videos and I was already driving onto the on ramp. Shouldn't be on your phone, but I was. And I get this thing. I was like, Mr. Beast is giving away, blah, blah, blah. If you comment on this video, whatever. And I was like, this is not real. But I was like, oh, it's a fucking ad though. So I click it and I was like, it looks like Mr. B shit, dude. What, what did it, did it direct it was like, you to a website? Uh-huh. So okay. it was like, oh, click the link in the description. Mm-hmm. 
And I was like, see, it's links. I don't yeah. links that and scare me. And I was like, me. like, bro, this is a little sus, bro. Yeah, links are sus, bro. So when I clicked it, I was like, oh, dude, this channel name is not Mr. Beast. It was like some fucking Minecraft ass Mr. Beast sign. Oh my god. Yeah, dude. I was like, bro, someone paid money to scam people. And how much do you think they're generating from that? Oh, so much, bro. You think and so? Look, dude, legit, I thought it was a Mr. Beast video where he was like, hey guys. This Mr. Beast here, click this link in the bio, and I'm gonna give you five hundred dollars. But because uh-huh. it, it was like it's only up for the next two hours, and I was like, oh shit, that's why I was getting into it. And then right before I clicked, I was like, bro, that looks sus. I clicked the page, I was like this page is sus, bro. Wow, man. sus page. So you think you think they're just breaking in dough? Oh yeah, you you know we fucking sorry motherfuckers actually clicked the link. I don't give a fuck. Imagine how many nine year olds click that shit. You, oh, nine year olds probably pissing off like, their hey, mama. Mom. See uh, that is credit card for some Fortnite. That's a perfectly valid moment to fucking just slap Timmy right there. Just Timmy, you little bastard. Fucking five hundred dollars. Maybe I, not. I wanted the five hundred dollars, but I didn't do it. I remember my dad called me one day. He was like, "Yeah, they're uh, they want my information. Can you help me get it?" I was like, "Dad, that's a scam. That's a fucking scam. You're not end that fucking phone call." Yeah, totally, dude. Yeah. Phone calls are, are sketchy, dirty, man. dude. Motherfuckers are dirty out here scamming people and shit. Get get a fucking job. Well, that is their job, homie. You know what I mean? Hey, dude. But the thing is, they're if they're passionate about their job, they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna grind. They're gonna work endlessly. They're gonna get you. They're gonna scam you, and the best ones always do. Should should we try to scam people for money? I think that's what we're doing right now. One hundred and one episodes in, <laughs> dude. Stammers, bro. You know what I, I saw wrote that today? Note, like super late at night. What, what did you say, dude? You know what I saw today? All right, so I'm 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 up on the twenty fourth floor of a high rise that it's currently in construction, right? And I'm waiting for the man lift because I got to go down. And I look down to the parking lot downstairs that it's 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 often heavily tat not tattooed. I'm sorry, Tag- tagged up. Uh huh. Gets repainted, gets tagged up, gets repainted, so on and so forth. Oh, okay. I witnessed a guy from start to finish throw up his piece, his sick ass piece. I gotta, I gotta stop following Ricky. It was dope. Come on, follow Ricky. What do you see now, shit? It was pretty dope, but he spelled it wrong. Hey, man, he didn't spell it wrong. That was his way of spelling it. Fucking idiot. That was his way of spelling it. He spelled hell wrong. He spelled it with one L. You fuck. And. Fucking idiot! That w- that was awesome, dude. I love that. It was cool. It was cool. Honestly, did you take a picture it, after? It wasn't the best. It wasn't the best. Hey, but better than what I could do. Better than what I could do myself. Yeah, absolutely. I've been getting a lot of like people like, you know, they get it like really close up and they'll just show the line that they draw. Like mm-hmm. it'll be like a clip and he goes like, oh, cut, and then it's the next line he draws and then he backs up and it's like something beautiful. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep getting those and they're so awesome, dude. But they're the- always in Brazil. Like, is Brazil about that shit? Uh, you know, I'm not sure, but you know who's I know is really about that shit is uh, East, West Coast, and also the UK. They're about that shit. Yeah, because they got no guns or nothing to kill anybody. They got swords and shit. Bro, they're about that shit. There's even this crew in U- in UK mm-hmm. that they go to train stations. They wait for trains to stop, and in those stop intervals, the loading ones... They just tag up cars. They don't even tag them up. They fucking bomb them. Com- cars completely. It's insane. And then... They Do they look good, though, or they look like shit? Oh, they look badass, dude. Oh, okay. Because their crew is one up, They right? got the shiesty on and everything? Yeah, everything. Yeah. Uh-huh. They got backpacks. They got the whole get-up. They look like an amateur fucking Spider-Man, right? <laughs> and so it's like they're wearing a GoPro, too. And then they can even show... They even show uh, them getting away. Nice. And running away Parkouring from it. and shit. Yeah, it's fucking badass, man. That's a crazy life. What kind of life do you think those guys live? They probably work in like a meat patching, a meat, a meat packing job, graveyard shift. Uh, yeah, you think so? And then, like, hey guys, it's so Friday. graveyard shift is 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 like midnight to midnight to like, uh, no, it's like ten o'clock to like two in the morning. Okay, okay. Like that, you know? Why do you think they work that shift? So they can sleep a little bit all day, get up, and like, hey guys, it's time to go fucking get these trains, dog. Let's go get their ass. And then they fucking tag, and then they run to the meatpacking when they're done. But I would assume, I would assume a, a, a writer would want to do their work at night, don't you think? That's just me. I know, but you're saying that they're doing it every time the train stops. Oh, no, I'm just, I'm talking about just like a normal, uh, oh. uh, normal person who likes doing that. I don't know, like... Like the normal... Uh, like hopes, for example, you know uh-huh. how he likes to do that, those big things and stuff like that. Like, what kind of lifestyle do you think that that brings? You know, like, what do you get? You gotta make money somehow, bro. Yeah, yeah. 
I would imagine a bunch of them are stealing these cans, you know what I'm saying? Stealing them? I would imagine. Dude, if you go to, like, any store right now, they're all locked up. Oh, yeah. And, no, not, like, n- even before the they started spray painting the, the sky crate. The, Major locked up. The, the high rises. They've been locked up for years. No way they stole that shit. Oh, really? Especially in the United States. I think it's because kids were huffing it. Oh, gotcha. So they started so locking you, it up. Right. So you have to show ID, and then they have to, like... They, like, uh, I remember I needed some spray cans at, like, uh, Hobby Lobby. They would give me the ID. They would walk it to the register, and then i have to pay for it. They would walk it up. Like, oh, just... It's on register, too? Just let them know that you have it when you're ready. I was like, yeah. They would not... Don't even, no, no touching until you get out of that building. You know what, man? It's even crazy that, uh... That we're talking about that, because I actually overheard uh somebody on the job site saying that they had a piece of theirs up in that tower nice that's literally right across the way did he take a picture of it i'm sure he did you know you were too scared to ask him what it was weren't you no i was just i was just oh just listening you know you were like one floor above him i'll just be i'll just be nosy i'll just be nosy we were just all waiting for the man i was being nosy i was just like oh that's cool that must have been fun and then next thing you know in the morning, pulls his boots on by his straps, laces them up, puts the hard hat on, gets to work. Like nothing even happened. Probably a little tired, cracks open a monster. Do you think he feels like a, like a, like a Batman or something? Like oh, dude, he's like he probably feels fresh. Uh, Clark Kent. He, you know? he probably feels he probably feels how you feel when you would go into the first day of sixth grade. You had your most favorite outfit set on uh-huh. on your bed the day before. Uh-huh. And then you walked into that joint with your new fucking fresh ass stiff backpack. You were like, "Fuck, I'm I had fresh." A, I had a the, in uh fuck, I'm having a stroke. Jack I'm sport. A, I'm having a fucking stroke. No, I never had one. Me either. There Everest, was a, baby. There, nice. There was always like uh, something with me that I was like, "I'm always so weird." But my aunt would like take us up north to Davis, California, for summer, like for like a few weeks at a time, and she'd get us a gang of clothes at this skate shop. Sick. A gang of clothes. And then uh, I would always come dripped out for the year, you know? New shoes like Janowski's, like hella Janowski's, where I had so many Janowski's. Those are, those shoes were dang. And then um, I remember I got these Laker colored, uh, they weren't Janowski's, but they were something, something Nike. They were like a, a suede material, all purple with yellow accents, like the laces and the, the Nike sign. And I remember I went to like a, a water park and I got sunscreen on them oh. and it never came out oh. and I was like fuck man. ruined but uh we went up there back again when I was like 15 so I didn't go from I was like last time I went I was like 10, 9 right and I didn't go until I was like 15, 16 uh, 17 maybe we went up there and that skate shop was closed it was called Ground Zero it was pretty dope but it closed down and we're just walking around town and he goes yo and he fucking remembered me the guy the guy at the yeah, skate shop. Yeah, he's like, you guys are my favorite customers. Yeah, what? dude. What? Really? But it was just me and my aunt that went. That's sick. Yeah, it was fucking awesome. That he remembered us. You guys are my favorite customers. I was like, yeah, if you work after Mission Dog, we give you a bag. I mean, How'd that make you feel? This feels pretty cool. But I always had this problem where I thought shit wouldn't look good on me. Remember like when I first got my first pair of Vans like a few years ago? Like two years ago? Yes, yes, yes. I'm new to the Vans game. I totally dog. remember. And I was, like, I totally I was remember. like, yeah, I'm too fat for Vans. I would say the same thing about Jansport backpacks. I was like, I'm too fat for a Jansport. So what, would you have a duffel bag? No. <laughs> I had like a, a big daddy strap backpack. You know what I'm saying? What's a big... Oh, okay. It was like okay. an active one, but it was thick. It was ah, hefty. Ah, gotcha. Yes, yes. Yeah, I had one of those. And I was like, yeah, I'm too fat for a Jansport. It's too skinny. You know, it won't look good. Same thing with Vans. I always said that about Vans. I feel you, though. You know, well, there's some things some fat guys should now, just y'all. stop wearing. You know what I mean? I'm on my second pair now, y'all. There's some things some fat guys should just not wear. Jose, my drip for all of human- humanity for my humanity until about like a year and a half ago two years ago was basketball shorts white tube socks adidas running shoes see but the thing is holes in my shirt that's totally fine you know what that is exactly what adam sandler does every single day that was zero riz zero riz that's exactly what adam sandler does every day but yeah, what adam i'm Sandler's saying rich. is you know those pants that uh, they're real tight, right? They're uh-huh. real tight, and then they have those ribs on them, and then they have rips. Yes, yes. And so that's a fat person pant. Yeah, that's a fat person pant. They got you got yeah. David Lucas. Gotta, David gotta, Lucas yeah, pant yeah, head yeah, ass boy. Exactly. He loves those. 
David Lucas panhead ass boy. He loves those <laughs> fucking ribbed pants. Big boys gotta stop wearing them things. Well, you think they're too tight? Just my opinion. I, I don't know, man. They're, they they. Because I remember when I was an extra extra big boy, like triple double extra large cheeseburger. I would I would have those those tight stretchy pants, and you fucking I was like, hey, you like these pants? You're like, no, nah. they look like shit. You told me that. Oh, you remember tight, for your opinion. But then again, I'm just not a fan of tight stretchy pants. See, but. This is why I said it on the pod with Anthony. I was wearing the beanie, and I was like, you tell me the truth. Do I look stupid? You're like, no, bro, you look good. And I know you tell me the truth. That's the difference. Because I watch this gaming guy, and he's totally unbiased for every game. If he doesn't like it, he doesn't like it. And he tells him, like, the game company will like, hey, you can play your game early. And he's like, I'm going to talk about how I want. They're like, yeah, we know. That's what we want. So it's like, if he doesn't like it, he totally shits on it. But he doesn't give a fuck. And that's why people trust him. That's what developers need. And there's exactly. some people that are just a little too scared yes to man, accept bro. that. You don't need a yes man, bro. There are some people that are a little too scared to accept that. Don't need, you don't need a yes man. And if you tell the truth, like, hey, bro, you don't look good in those pants. I was like, oh, shit. He said, I don't look good in those pants. You know? So that's why I was like, hey, bro, does Bean look good? And you're like, yeah, bro, you look fine. Solid. That's all I needed to hear. Bam. That's all I needed to hear. Word of mouth, baby. Nobody's gonna lie. Who's lying? People. It's just gonna bother me if you look bad in it. Fuck. <laughs> fuck that, I don't walk around this fuckhead. It's like, oh, no, nah, no, nah, not even that. It's like, oh my god, what the fuck is this? <laughs> you know, like, oh my, I gotta fucking look at this shit. You know? Oh, man. It's like when, you're, when your pants are like halfway down your ass, I'm like, oh my fucking shit. Get a belt, brother. Yeah, I just got tired of like looping it in and I just need a new belt. I need new pants too. Because <laughs> even like at work, I have to like grab it and I like, pull it all the way, like the whole thing. And then I stick it in a loop like a tie like this. So it's like that. So mm-hmm. I get like an extra two feet of belt to tie my shit up. It'd be like that sometimes. And then I just like, dude, it's uncomfortable because then it's like a ball like, right here. So when I sit down, I just have this ball ah, of, of belt. It's like a tumor. Yeah, and it's canvas. like, dude, it's fucking annoying. So I just said, fuck it. I'll pick up my pants every five seconds. Hey, sometimes you just got to let the crack hang. Uh, crack was good in the 80s, you know? So Let's bring it back. You, you know me. I got a pancake ass. You think if I got a badonk? What is that? What is that? A pancake ass, flat. Oh, okay, okay. You think I got a badonk like you? What is a... Oh, okay, okay, got gotcha, you. You know, yes. fucking voluptuous. Fuck him. But see that fluctuates within my weight Lineage? loss and weight gain. I don't think so. I think so. I don't think I'm always fucking decked up. You know? No, you like a double cheeseburger in and out, baby. It's fucking double decked up. Yeah. So, you think if I did that, my fucking shorts and shit would stop falling down? No. That's not what keeps my shorts up. You know what keeps my shorts no. up? <laughs> The elasticity and the size of my shorts. I just get proper fitting shorts. Yeah, true. You know what? I just think you need to, if you're looking for a pair of shorts, you just need to take the time to go to the fitting room, try them on, or actually go to the store itself. Because I'm, I'm imagining that you're just an instant Amazon guy, you know? Oh, hell yeah. I don't you're like, fuck, I need some shorts. Instant Amazon. Amazon. And that's exactly how you get a fucked up fitting pair. That are falling off your fucking ass every Honestly, 10 seconds. Honestly, I think seconds. I go into a large shorts. Like, if you go into a Marshalls, you can find a lot of good shorts and try them on. A lot of cool shorts that you yeah, wear. Yeah, and I do enjoy shopping now, so... Marshalls, TJ Maxx, you know? Yeah. Do that with your girl. Take a little puffers, you know, do your thing like you do in Costco. But go to Marshalls or TJ Maxx. That's just as fun. I feel like it'd be more deadly, though. Why is that? I'd buy everything. Nah, not even. They got a lot of good shit there. Huh? They got a lot oh, of good yeah, shit. Oh, yeah, they do. They do have a lot of good shit there. Yeah, because, like, the God's Hate shorts when I bought them, 2X, way too big. The XLs I even tie up. I think I can go to a large, bro. Wow. And. Elite. My, my fucking slides. I got these when I was fucking uber fat. And these things are so loose on me. Your slides? My slides. Oh, those. I my thought spanks. you were talking... Okay, gotcha, What are these yes. called? Fucking... Compression shorts. Compression shorts. That's what I call them. What do you call them? Fucking uh, underwear. You like them? Oh. You prefer those over... <laughs> you prefer those over boxers? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I, uh, I fucking always hated boxers. See, I like... <sighs> always fucking hate them. You know them. what? I, I'm a recent... I am a recent <laughs> user of the pee hole. 
I never used that up until about like a year ago or two. See? I'm more like a year ago. You know the pee hole, the little button? Yes. I undo that now every single time I go pee. I know you're going to make a mistake one day. Leave your dick out and... <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, I just no, my weight on. No, that's not the mistake I, I made. That's not on. the mistake I made. Listen, <laughs> listen, okay. So what happens is um, sometimes when I'm peeing at work, I'm in a rush, right? Uh -huh. So I'm in a rush. I do my little button thing. And then... Um, so sometimes... I don't do the button every single time, but I just kind of like yank on them and yeah, I'm just pull back get, to get back in there, baby. In. Get back oh. in there, come on! And so I just keep it going. Yeah. But the thing is, I have forgotten to zip up, and I'm like, wow, it's kind of cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of cold out here. Your massive cock is and out. Then next thing you know, I'm like, oh shit! My like, cock I see balls. some skin, baby. Zoom. Holy fuck! You Hopefully see Rick down there that. with his camera? He's like, oh yeah, baby. <laughs> You know what they told us as well? Huh. Oh, my God. I'm giving a lot of fucking... Insider trading. Insider trading information right here, baby. Put your money on this one because it's going to blow up. All right. So <laughs> what they told us today... <laughs> if you see anybody pissing on the job site, you get a reward, $500. Did that motherfucker write you out? Did you fuck around about no, no, Ricky? No, no, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. You shit my ball sack no, right no, now? No, no, no. No, it's not that. It's not that. So what happened was, this, well, this is going to be a 50-something story building, mm -hmm. high rise, right? Oh, you're going to be there forever. We're on level 24 right now. And um, they only have two restrooms every three floors. Yeah. There's over 50 guys on the floor at a time. Uh -huh. Come on. How often are those porta potties going to be available, realistically? <laughs> Never. Never. Sometimes you got to piss. There's dudes pissing in bottles, putting them in the walls, you know? <laughs> there's dudes. There's dudes. Do you think they sign it? I don't know. No way. Jose's piss cup. That'd be crazy. That'd be 3 crazy. 3-7-24. Honestly, that's, no, that's respect on their name if they did that shit. Wow. Because I'm, I'm a big pisser. You know, especially in bottles. You're a big piss guy. So like, I'm I'm big in I'm guy. in with the community, uh -huh. the pissers. You uh -huh. know, and I I'm a, that's them right there. I'm part of the small bladder boys. The small bladder boys, let's go. <laughs> but, um, what they did was, so there's, as the rooms are being done mm -hmm. and installed and everything, uh, uh -huh. the bathtubs are being installed as well. These motherfuckers. These motherfuckers fill the bathtub to the brim. With piss. With piss. Are you fucking... That's disgusting. To the brim, brother. <laughs> you know how big that is? Dude, that probably smells like shit in there for weeks. Oh, that's what I was saying. Do you know how much piss that is? A lot. Dude, oh. A lot. Oh. Dude, I just picture a whole bathtub full of fucking dark yellow piss. Dude, oh. and I imagine and I imagine if you were to put your hand in it, it comes out like honey. Oh. It's like honey. It's like someone nutted in it. It's like honey. Nah, dude, it wouldn't be like that. Ugh. It just, oh, oh, dude, the smell would be uh, dis disgusting. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, dude, uh, that's gross. Come on, man. Yeah. And there's no drain. It's not gonna be able to drain for fucking ever. So someone had to go up in there and drain that shit. I, I would fucking imagine. Sorry, ass. But you know, <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Don't speak too soon, brother. You know what happened before? So. People were pissing off and pissing on people. We were up on an elevated scaffold platform working on a dance floor, as we call it, right? We were installing some ductwork that was way high in the air. Uh -huh. And we, uh, the ductwork was about waist height. Uh -huh. And we had openings cut inside of our ductwork that we just covered with some plastic, sticky plastic. Stick a wiener in there. So there was this day where uh, I had to go in and work on that to complete it. Uh-huh. And I see like a fucking puddle of something inside. I'm like, no way. What the fuck is that shit? But it, it had already been there for a while now. It, it, it was already like stuck to the uh -huh. metal and it, it looked sticky already. Sticky, icky, icky. Grimy, grimy. Uh, it was terrible. And then uh, they were like, I, I, I go in there and to, to find out what it was, I had to get, like, get down and get a little taste. And so... <laughs> When I got down, I got a smell of it, and I knew it was fucking piss. I knew it was so piss. Someone stick their whole wiener in there, in the yeah. ductwork. They yeah. cut their wiener on the tip. I hope they did. I hope they snagged their wiener on Bro. a fish hook. Okay. I get that, like... I had to clean it. I get you gotta pee, but fucking give me a break, dude. Like, at least get a bottle. I understand a bottle, bro. 
A bottle totally valid. I'll take a fucking bottle. I'd rather bottle. you piss off the scissor lift onto the floor and then clean it than you piss in the ductwork. Well, of course, dude. Because then at that point, you don't know what kind of uh, you don't know what kind of damage is going to be done as far as like the ductwork itself. You know what I mean? Maybe the owner doesn't want that shit at all and says, "Fuck that." get it out completely and put new stuff in so at that point that's driving costs up that's fucking, fucking in the loser. ass fucking loser yeah 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 next time piss on yourself boy just bring an extra piss bottle with you you know you're gonna go up there piss boy that's right so did it feel good pissing in the ductwork I didn't piss in the <laughs> ductwork somebody had done it it wasn't me it wasn't fucking me alright <laughs> I wouldn't piss uh, where I eat. So you've never eaten in the bathroom? I've never eaten in the bathroom, no. Me neither. I would never eat in the bathroom. I just feel As, like I feel like one day you would have like dominoes or something. You're like, well, I gotta go poop, poop. I gotta go poop. Oh, you, you just know, like run in on, there and you just on, have like, I'm got, sorry. like a fucking piece of pizza in your hand. Just... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've eaten in the bathroom at home. Yeah. At home? Yes. So... I had kind of like a bad day at work with my stomach. I had been on and off with my shitting and everything. You released the valve? I released the valve as soon as I got home. (laughs) But I had had some fucking um, pizza in the toaster. So I I got the pizza from the toaster. It was nice and crunchy, but it was real hot. So I I held on to the pizza while I had to go poop, you know? Uh (laughs) And I, I specifically remember it was burning my mouth. Because I had to hold it there because I, I didn't want to fucking get it, get my shit hands all over it. Did you see that viral TikTok going around? What what was it about? There was this bot chick and she was like, motherfuckers keep their toothbrush in the bathroom, disgust me. Oh, you know what? Yeah, that I is gross. I never even thought about that. And I see that all is the time. Is your stuff in the bathroom? And I didn't know about that, but mine is still in the bathroom, unfortunately. It's my shit part. Don't give a fuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not just yours, brother. I've shit in your restroom before. Yeah. So I, you got them on them bad boys. So what are you supposed to do? Get a little tooth, toothbrush cover and get a little toiletry bag? Is that what it is? I, mean, I feel like if you put it in a bag, it's, it's not good either. Because it's moist after you fucking brush your teeth. Yeah. You put it in it's a bag, gonna it's going to have condensation and shit. Yeah. This, the, you know what, There's lady, no good way. This, Fuck you. This world is a ball of filth. That's what it is. A little bit of shit's not going to bother you. Actually, this world is not a, a ball of filth. A little bit of shit's not going to bother sorry. you. sorry. This world is not a ball of filth. This world is... A ball of beauty. I love this earth. Okay. And, uh, this is a little fucked up, but I keep seeing these memes about India. Have you even seen them? Bro, what the fuck is up with those Dude, guys over there? What is up with assaulting India? Assaulting woman. What is going on? That was insane what happened. Dude, it's, it's, it's not even just that Japanese couple. It's all over. And that Japa was that I was, I was going to say that Japa wasn't Japanese. <laughs> that couple wasn't Japanese. Oh, the so one there's I was another talking one? About, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming there's another one. Oh, fuck. Yeah, because I saw a video. They were, like, smacking her and shit. I saw a video where there was this uh, this this woman that had traveled there and was clearly a tourist based on... Dude, they don't give a fuck. The, the insanely difference of the color of their skin. You I know? mean, she was fucking white as this wall. And yeah. They were, like, they were dark as hell. Hell yeah. Uh-huh. And so what they were surrounding her like a... Taylor Swift going out of the Super Bowl game, dude. Paparazzi all over. Everybody had their phone out taking pictures with her. Everybody. All males. Why? What's up with that? Yeah, they probably raped her. Didn't they rape her? I don't know. I really don't know. Dude, it's because they're fucking weirdos over there. And like, at, <laughs> it, at first, it started off with like, how they make their street food. You seen that shit? Disgusting. <laughs> they like put their, you put their with grimy ass fingers all up in there. There's like shit. flies and rats around everywhere. There's foods on the floor. There's like, I can't. Yeah. Mixing all the fucking salmonella and shit. And it started off with that. Then it started off with like these, like, oh, Taurus went and she got fucking abused. Like, dude, they were smacking the shit out of her. Like 30 dudes just smacking her. And then eventually she fucking got away. And one young Indian guy was like, so she walked down an alleyway and they, what, she escaped. What's the simulation trying to tell us? Oh. I don't know, but I saw this thing, and it was like, everyone, if we nuked India right now, and it was just like, a guy sleeping. <laughs> I was like, yo. <laughs> everyone was like, <laughs> have you ever had Indian food? I have. Uh, yes, I have had Indian food. Indian food's dang as fuck. And uh, would fuck. I have it again? I would have it again. Yes, I wouldn't mind. But you know what? It, New place. We have the recipe. We have. 
Actually, my girl made some really good fucking butter chicken from scratch. It's so good. Butter chicken? So fucking dank. It's just butter and chicken, babe. Make some butter chicken. It's way more than that, but it's butter chicken. I feel like it's so bad for you, though. Oh, yeah. Chicken with butter with fucking cream and... Gains. That's gains right there. Who has the most unhealthy food? Americans? You think? I give them a good shout. Yeah. I'd, I'd give them a good shout, too. I'd say Mexicans, too. They, they, they're they a pretty good runner-up. Yeah, because there's always that thing going around, like, oh, they, they put in quotes, oh, I'm Mexican, I can't lose weight. Like, I, I live in a Mexican household, I can't lose weight. <laughs> and he's like, this is what I eat. And he's like, trust protein, trust leches. Like, dude, you're fucking generalizing fucking Mexican food to trust leches cake? Like, you fucking retarded? Dude, this is how I lost weight. Which is true. I don't know. I don't know. I don't fucking know. There's always those memes that's like, yeah, you can't lose weight in a Mexican household. You know what, though? All I know is, I love those big, beautiful blankets with the animals on them. I have some. I love them. I got one with a giant tiger on it. My current blanket status is one my mother made for me and gifted on my birthday. How long ago? Jeez, over two years ago. Wow. That thing is gnarly. It's a camo one. I know what you're talking about. It like, when's the last time you changed your pillow? And you have like a little blankie ticket to you? What? <laughs> What's wrong with that? You got a problem with that? What's how, wrong with how that? How old is that little blankie? That, bro, that little blankie? Okay. From what um, I know, I don't remember. Obviously, I have a shoddy memory from when I cracked my head open. Yeah. But... From what I've heard is that when I was a kid, mm. I had an old blanket before. I don't remember what the theme of the blanket was, but I ended up seeing this other blanket, and I was roughly around maybe three, four years old, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I traded my blanket for the one I currently have, and I've stuck with it to this day. Wow, to this day. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That thing has seen everything. It has seen everything. Bro, it, you've it, probably jerked off of that your it, feet like hundreds of times. If... If that thing could talk, <laughs> if that thing could talk, it would cry. It wouldn't talk. It would just cry. If that thing could talk, it <laughs> will cry. Have the world turning. <laughs> it will. It will bring Titanic up from from under. Wow, that that'd be crazy. I don't I'd have anything like that. Hear. I had a pillow for a long time, and uh, but a pillow's not. Uh, well, I guess uh, it is. Jose. A pillow, a pillow's like that. I yes. had a pillow for a long, long time. No, but like that pillow, do you fucking like hug it and caress it? Nah, dude, that was my favorite sleep pillow. It was the most uncomfortable piece of shit, so I'd have like three pillows under it. Why? But it was just like comfort. No case either. I couldn't do the case on it. Ah, uh, why? I just, I couldn't. And I remember one day, someone went in my room. I forgot who it was, but they're like bro this pillow's fucking disgusting it was all yellow like my sweat and shit for for years see it's like having a dirty pillow with a case on it is like having a is like not having showered for like three days and having a dirty nut sack and fresh underwear that's the, that's see, it right the thing there. is i know i smell like shit if i did that oh your underwear would be nice and fucking raunchy raunchy boss like nice and fuzzy Just... slimy nice <laughs> this is exactly why we get zero views. <laughs> <laughs> Slimy ball sacks, baby. What's okay? This is weird. We had like like seven people share it on their story. Uh -huh. I only got notifications for Biggie. That's it. And I was only allowed to share his. Maybe, maybe it won't let me share everybody else's. Here's a here's a theory. Maybe I'm just being a hater, but maybe they shared. And deleted shortly after. Nah. You don't think so? Get my fucking phone. Get my phone. Right nah, now. Nah, 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 nah. Calm down. Calm down. See, but what, so yeah, calm hold down. On, We're hold not on. trying to accuse nobody. We're not trying hold to accuse on. nobody. We're not making no accusations here. Listen. We're not making accusations here, all right? These are just theories. I'm watching you. Fucking Isaac Newton had theories. You know what he did? He invented fucking gravity. He died. That was him, right? He invented gravity? Isaac Newton, right? That big puffy hair motherfucker. You're asking the dumbest motherfucker in the room right uh -huh. now. Who invented gravity? I don't fucking know. It probably was him. La di da. Fucking Apple fell and he just created gravity. Fucking Donatello Cello or whatever his name is. How high do you think like all those people were? Bro, honestly, I, I hope I hope they were blazed to the gills. I hope they were donezos. Like who's that? Uh, who's that famous painter? Italian. Picasso. No. Da Vinci. 
Yeah, Leonardo da Vinci. I was the one that like, painted Mona Lisa? Yeah. I don't know. You think he was not what he painted faded, that? bro. I wonder what the Mona Lisa actually looked like. Like, is there actual picture? The real there? lady? I bet she was busted. I bet she was hella busted. I think he was ambidextrous too. Really? So he's like LeBron James, huh? Is he really? <laughs> yeah, LeBron James is ambidextrous. Oh, he uses uh, both hands. He's the lion? The lion? Yeah, motherfucker. Honestly, like, if I was to interview LeBron James, like... What was this book really about, LeBron? <laughs> What's your favorite book, brother? <laughs> no, not your favorite book. LeBron, you answered a question about this book, and everyone called you out on it. What was it about? Did you ever finish reading it? And he was like, nah, bro. What, what, would you, what would you genuinely ask him? If I was to meet LeBron... I couldn't tell you. Joe Baker can't look alike, brother. Yeah. Show me the bands. LeBron, can I get $135,000 for student loans? <laughs> please, I'll and give you my me, bra. Show me your wiener on Twitter, please. <laughs> I'll give you my bra. <laughs> I, should, I should get a sports bra. LeBron James, huh? Your tits be sagging like that? Nah. Hey, there's some buff dudes that be having, like, big tits. Let's call them gyno, bro. No, no, no. Like, like it's, it, it, it's genuine oh, muscle, yeah. uh-huh. right? But it's heavy. It's, like, bottom heavy. It's a big tit. <laughs> Heavy, you know. Heavy. I feel like that's definitely a C cupper. Like, there, like for example, Arnold when he was in his prime, he was a oh, C C cupper for sure. Minimum. No, but I think that's max. That's as far as you can go. But the dudes with guy, no, that looks disgusting. That looks terrible. Hey, dude, good for them when they get it when they get it taken care of. I had I had a scare, guy, no scare. I thought I, I thought I had guy, no. I don't know what was going on. So, this was back in like high school. You were getting a little pudgy or something. Oh, dude, I was fucking nervous, brother. I don't know what was going on. So we were real... It's nothing bad, dude. It looks fucking terrible. I know it's nothing bad. But we are like, real big into the fitness game, right? Yeah. And uh, I was at the gym one day. I was doing my normal chest routine, right? Uh-huh. I got them dumbbells. I'm doing my thing, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then um, I came down a little too quick on a warm-up set and happened to clip my right nipple... Oh, and that shit hurt at the edge of the dumbbell. Ah, uh-huh. like, oh, oh, fuck, fuck! Oh, it instantly made instantly that, hard. Instantly <laughs> made that shit hard. But 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 when it made it hard, it's like it's as if it's as if it crystallized it. It went, and it went hard. Not only just the nipple, but below that as well. You know, you and you probably like you probably got like a. Dude, and, and yes, it was hard. Like, I would squeeze it, and I felt a, You know, like in UFC, when they get there. hit, and they get, like, lumps on their face? Okay, I've never, never, never seen that. I've never seen that. Never seen that. you never seen, like, Janeway Lee versus uh, that... Sean Whaley? Yeah, versus the Czechoslovakian lady, or the Polish the Polish girl. What's her name? Joanna, Joanna uh-huh. Czerdeski. Uh-huh. You ever seen that? You should look that Just up. Just the big old head, like, the head ones? I have seen that, actually. Have you seen that picture, though? I haven't seen them on the cheeks. No, they get it, like, all over, bro. I feel like you did that and just like it gets hard and just and here's a here's the thing it did get swole right I felt a mass in there when I would touch it and I was always real like nervous and curious about it I'd get in the shower and like squeeze it and play with it a milk would come out bro yes what no it wasn't milk it was just like a clear fluid right what I went to go get a fucking mammogram motherfucker really I was like what's going on tell me what's going on (laughs) I don't know what the fuck I'm this coming is. out my titty. I think I'm, co- <laughs> I'm coming out of my titty, doc. Help me, please. You know what? Dude, imagine if if, if in order to impregnate my lady, oh my I had to breastfeed her vagina. <laughs> imagine what a world that would be. That's a different multiverse. This is episode 101, everybody. Later. <laughs> yeah. That's the weirdest fucking thing I've heard. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> how, how do you think she would do it? You think you'd be on like one side, like kind of uh, like this, and she would you, sit on you? Know what? Well, I mean, maybe at the beginning of the relationship, we'd get real crazy with it. We would try it all kinds of different stuff. But then, like in the later, later years, I would start pumping. Are you still having sex though? I would start pumping, and then eventually, I would just like kind of just put it in a syringe. And... <laughs> Shit. All right, you're you know they make another. like breast pumps and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. You mean a syringe? No, but the syringe to go in there. Like I. Oh, you, you want know. it all out? No, I'm. It's going in. Oh, you mean a turkey baster? Yeah. No, oh, okay. a turkey baster kind of. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh man. Then my children are born. That's disgusting. I would. 
Yeah. See, okay, Papa. If, think about it like this. <laughs> if everyone had to impregnate like that, it would just be normal. <laughs> no one would say anything about it. Yeah. But because it'd be normal. That's not normal. Then what would our wieners be? Obsolete. What would our wieners become? Just a floating stick. Okay, but would you still have feeling in it, like if you're having sex? I don't and know. Like, oh, we're gonna come. Oh, give me your, give me your titty. <laughs> oh, my outlet. It's like my titty. Take my titty. <laughs> it's coming out of here. The top. Oh, and then you pierced your titty. Oh my yeah, God, so you pierced your do? fucking cum hole. So no, you know what it would be like? <laughs> It'd be like when you put your thumb on the hose, it would come out of so many different directions. <laughs> okay, so do you have like a little hole in the nipple? No, no. So actually, I think so. Yes. Do I have one? No. No, because what what they did when they pierced it, they pierced it with the hollow needle, so it takes a little chunk of skin out. Did you, it hurt? You it? still have the full skin. Did it hurt it? It did hurt it instant hard. Yeah. Did you like? Ah. No. What was your reaction? <laughs> <laughs> your eye starts watering a little bit. I feel like my eye would water. Deep breath, sweetie. <sighs> That was my reaction. <laughs> and good. <laughs> you can sit him down, put your shirt on, you're like, oh! <laughs> Did it hurt for the next few days? Um, not really, dude. It wasn't too bad. <coughs> you know what, though? It did hurt, like, just before it, it healed fully. That's when it was real, like... They wanted you to know that you're fucked. Yeah, yeah, you're fucked right now, but you're about to be good. Don't worry, you're almost there, but I'm going to put you in the most agonizing pain right now. So it's like I would clip it on the most, on the, the most dumb shit. Pain, suffering, agony, brutality, depression, depression, depression. Ah, oh, dude. Did I ask something to tell you? Better help sponsor us. I sent you something the other day. You on you Snapchat. What's going on with P Diddy? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah, I told you. you. We talked about the pot. He's wow, gay. That is insanity. Dude, no, he's not gay. Oh, he's totally gay. Well, he is gay. But, dude, he is like the hip-hop equivalent to Jeffrey Epstein, dude. With Seriously, with kids? No. With gay men? Oh, well, <laughs> with the hip-hop industry. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, he's like a Harvey Weinstein, I would say. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. You know? He, so, there's rumors out there. I don't know if they're fully true. They're probably true. That he... He did this to a lot of people in the hip hop industry. Um, Some names being people like Meek Mill, uh -huh. um, for example, Tory Lanes, people like that. Suck my wiener, you know dog. What I'm saying, suck my wiener if I want to get big. You know, he killed Tupac too. And that, yeah, that's what I heard as well. But what's going on with that um, Justin Bieber? I saw there was a video where he was like grooming Justin Bieber. What? You know what I'm saying, Justin Bieber was real young. Right, he was like, "Oh, hey, what you want to do, Justin? What you want to do? Ah, uh, let's go out. Let's get some girls." Right, uh -huh. Justin was like, "Let's go get some girls." Uh -huh. Then he, then he was pretty much saying like, "Oh yeah, you know, I wanted to take custody of them, you know, but I couldn't get custody of them. This, this, and that. It was pretty weird, dude. It's kind of scary, actually." Are you looking at that Dom the Cern page? I don't know. I don't know, but I know there's a secure. I don't know for sure. But this is just theory. Diddy has a security guard. Yes, let's talk about this. Who is linked to to Michael Jackson? Yep. Not only that, but the CIA. Dude, uh, it was like, hey, if you're anywhere in Florida or California, call him and he'll get it taken care of. Bro, you that's saw that? insane, dude. Did you see that? The power you gotta have to do some shit like that. I wonder how scary that motherfucker is. Oh yeah, dude. Bro, that's the head of his security team. Who? Literally says like yeah if you have, if you're anywhere in Florida or in California call him and you're good if you get pulled over call him don't do anything just call him I don't know what that was you want to just stop it I think it's good anyways I don't know what that notification was on there didn't like it did not like that chat um but yeah dude imagine the power you that's like some fucking uh, mafia shit you oh, know yeah not even mafia shit dude that's above that I would say that's more like a oh so somebody's calling me like an elite world leader type of stuff okay you know that's scary man Illuminati confirmed Illuminati confirmed they are oh, what about Ryan Garcia bro what's oh my god that's insane what's going on with him so 
I wonder what happened. So he, Cause people, he's all about like that God stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's all about that God stuff. And people have been saying that he's just going insane, right? But there have been um, like recordings of him speaking in tongues, uh-huh. right? And doing that whole thing uh-huh. and talking about ev- everything that he's been trying to expose. Uh-huh. Oh, shit. Right? But people were just calling him insane. Well, because I was... I, uh, what's that guy? Uh, Alex... Jones. Alex Jones. He discovered that, or he didn't discover, but he went to the the Bohemian Grove. Okay. Years ago, because people didn't believe him, so he went inside himself and took videos of everything, and like, ex- that's how he got famous. He exposed all the satanic shit. But did he do that as like a a, a, a visit, like a visitor no. or a trespasser? Trespasser. Okay. Okay. So he's always been that conspiracy theory guy, and people like stopped believing him. So he went there himself and recorded everything. He said, "I'm gonna get y'all footage. Y'all Dumbass. don't believe me for yeah. sure." So I was like, "Okay, what really is Bohemian Grove?" Okay. So what the fuck's Bohemian Rhapsody? What the fuck's Bohemian? Okay. Okay. Anyways, start looking up that. It was like a society, uh, a men's club for the top people in the world. Like even some presidents have been in it, like in the early 50s, 60s, where they don't talk about business. They just are a gentleman's club in the woods up north in the Redwoods. Okay. So kind of like a, a hang yeah. place for the homies. But it's always been linked to like satanic rituals and like drinking children's blood and shit. It was scary as fuck. And people have been going there recently, like, oh, here's the giant 30-foot owl statue. Kind of how people have been going to Jeffrey Epstein's Island after he had been... Uh, Ooh, those are scary. You know, and the, that kind of stuff. But that is the sketchy, long dude. staircase down to hell. That's what I... That's what That's what it probably feels like being a kid from there. It's like, damn. Did you see the staircase? No, dude. It's just, like, straight down. Like, you build a cave and, like, you mine it in Minecraft. But at that point, as a kid, dude, you probably don't even know. Bro, they're getting raped over there. I think they know where they're going. No, but as a newcomer, you probably oh, don't yeah. even know what's going on. But to me, it's like a, like reminiscent to hell, bro. Oh, yeah, I You're bet. down there like drinking kids' blood and shit. What about Pizzagate? You believe in Pizzagate? What is that? There's this pizza company. I forgot where. But it has like... You know there's like those symbols for like pedophilia and stuff? Like they have like... Oh, this is like I like kids symbol. No, I don't. I'm not aware of this. There's like certain emblems where it's like... I'm a pedophile. That's what it means, right? So is that kind of something so they can hide in, in uh-huh. plain, plain sight? sight. Yeah, okay. and you'll see like all these like big companies have like these pedophilia logos. Really? Masked. Yeah. Wow, I've, yeah. I've never heard of this. Uh-huh. Pizzagate. Pizzagate. So there was this guy writing emails and why he never went to jail? Who the fuck knows? He was already talking about little kids. Is he like, make sure you have the stuff, like all this stuff, and but they're always ta- like all these politicians are always talking about this pizza place. It was like Cosmic Pizza or something, and it's Cosmic Pizza and it has every single symbol of pedophilia on it, and even uh, there's like messages about uh, Obama talking about it, because that's when it got really big, like Obama Gate and shit. Obama and Pizza Gate is like together. Cosmic Pizza isn't is that the pizza from Toy Story? Yeah, kind of. That's what I. That's the same thing I got. But oh, dude, that shit's, it's disgusting, bro. And there's like a, inside they found photos. You know where uh, there's that famous Dahmer photo where he cut the guy's head off and he has them like arched up. No. Okay, well there's like a famous photo where he cut the guy's head off, and he like left him arched up, like his back arched, but his flat head, is there with his head next to it. Ah. Uh. He took a picture of it. They had a statue of that in their fucking thing. Some at Bohemian sh- Grove. No, at the Cosmic Pizza. Oh, at the Cosmic Pizza. Some gotcha. weirdo shit, dude. Weirdo shit. And pizza's already been linked to like uh, child trafficking and shit. So that's why they call it Pizza Gate. Wow, that's insane, dude. There's like all this stuff of like drinking like uh, kids' blood. There's a toxin in there that keeps you young, you know. That's that adrenochrome. Yeah, so it's like that's why people do it. That's why people think a lot of like elitists do that shit, like Beyonce and all them. Well, what these elite don't know is that no one's going to give a fuck about them. No one's gonna I care. just think they just want to keep staying in power. That's the only thing. It's not that, oh, yeah, they give a fuck. It's, a, it's, a, it's about the power. You're right. So, like, even just recently, like, Biden's been linked to it. Just recently, he's just standing there at a press conference, and there's, like, this kid, like a 10, 11, 12-year-old boy with a mask on. He's just sitting there. And then out of his sweater comes a vial, 
like this long, like twice the size of this, a vial with a liquid in it, and he just like comes out of his sweater like a magic trick. And then Biden like reaches for it with his hand, and the kid puts it in his hand, and then Biden slips it up his wrist, all on the news. Like no one was gonna see it. It was insane. It was fucking insane. What is going on in the world? They're like, drinking blood, dude, to fucking stay healthy. Oh my god. It's insane. You, you should really look at Pizzagate on Twitter. It goes deep. Uh, that's a little scary, too. It is a little scary, but it's... All this stuff is insane. It's scary. It's really scary. Like, who knows? Who, see, that? there you go. That's what I, I would want to know about, like, hey, was this... Was 9-11 fake? I've talked about that before. One like, last dying wish. Yeah, it's like, hey, was 9-11 real? Like, was it planned by the U.S. government? Or was this some Iraqi shit? You know? Or maybe try and find a, a question to generalize every single major event that has Happened. been a, uh, a, contributed, a cr- contribution to our downfall. Okay. Do you know who Jack Snyder is? No. Who's that? He's like Sounds a, familiar. He's a famous director. Ah, I was going to say he that. He did like a lot of the DC movies. Why was it? Oh, DC sucks. I know. But he got famous for what people call the Schneider Cut. He did Aquaman's. He did a lot. I didn't know that he did this for like all his movies, and now I just want to watch them. Okay. Batman versus Superman. He said the story got completely changed because they kept doing it as <gasps> rated R. Whatever, whoever grades That's it. That's awesome. And they're like, they're like, it's not rated R. There's nothing in here to be rated R. They're like, oh, yeah, but we just don't like that. It's Batman versus Superman, so we're rating it R. And he's like, what? So he's like, what do we have to cut out to fix it? But he still has all the footage, so he still makes his original movie. And that's what he did for the, the Justice League, the first one. He did that. It went from an hour and, like, 40-minute movie to his cut was, like, over three hours. And it's, like, ten times better. And he does that for every movie, bro. I didn't know that. He was just on Joe Rogan. Really talking about that? Yeah, and he was like, "Yeah, he's like now I'm kind of infamous for the Schneider cut." The Schneider cut. So I guess he ju- they just dropped a new movie of his on Netflix called The Red Room or something like that on Netflix. They're both already on Netflix. The the cut that the TV wants and his cut at the same time. What? Yeah. Really? I'm gonna have to check that out. Just to see how, which one's better. Yes, and I bet you his cut's better. That's so much better. I bet I wanna, you. I want to see the Batman vs Superman his cut. The TV cut is always shit. Yeah. Because TV wants shit. It's fucking ridiculous. Maybe get a little more explicit than you'll get more viewers, TV. But yeah. I don't know. I just want to watch some of his cuts. I didn't know he did that for everybody. I thought it was just for the Justice League movie. That's crazy. And he was like, yeah. He's like, trust me, dude. I'll try to fight the the panel. Whoever's like funding the movie. He's like, I try to fight him. Like, he's like, I really think this is a big part of the movie. I don't want to cut it out. And he's like, well, the, the polls show that they didn't like it. Man, fuck the polls. Yeah. So it's like, it's fucking crazy. It was pretty cool. Is that your new favorite director right now? Uh, I don't have a favorite director, bro. I don't know any fucking directors. I, don't even, I barely even know actors, bro. Like, you, you, most people are like, oh, you ever heard of this person? I'm like, no, dog. I know you know Jason Momoa. It's Daddy. Aquaman. Daddy. I haven't seen the new one. I haven't either, and I will not. Not a fan of Aquaman. DC just fumbled the bag so many times, it's D- just too late. Yeah, DC just... Get up on Marvel, yeah. game, baby. Get on Marvel game, baby. Did Marvel you hear that thing right. about Marvel, though? No, what happened? That after, like, the Infinity War series, like, that was, like, their big, like, those movies in there. You ever notice they just started dropping, like, show after movie after oh, show? Oh, yeah, I could, yeah, absolutely. And everyone's saying, like, dude, they're kind of shit. Like, every time, it's like, dude, this, this movie was ass. Like, you saw, like, the the, the Marvels. Yeah, oh, I didn't was, see it. No way. That I'm was the lowest it. box office of any Marvel movie, and it wasn't even close. Like, it was terrible numbers. So what are they doing now? You think they're tanking to get a number one no, pick? No, they're not tanking to get a number one pick. They're just like, hey, we're on top and let's just stay. We're, we're trying to stay on top, but they're uh-huh. slowly getting shittier. And then uh, they start doing interviews with all like the the writers. They're like, oh, yeah, no, they told us to not even read the comics, like the uh, what they're based off of. And it's like, why wouldn't you read the fucking comics? They're just making random BS next thing yeah. you know. These it's like characters. they don't even know anything. Yeah, what the fuck? And it's like, I think you should read the comic and like really get to know the story. Absolutely, before you write, dude. Before you write a whole fucking movie. About it. Yeah, totally right. So yeah, it's like, they need to get back to where they were. They need to get back on fucking endgame level. They don't forgot their fucking roots. Oh, they're, they, oh, they might actually get there. They're doing the Fantastic Four. 
Well, okay. Seems like they're going back. Over they're going there. back. That's they're going, nice. They're going down a new, like, hey, we can fucking get 12 movies out of this shit. Oh, yeah. Totally. They love Origin that stuff. stories, movies, shows, uh, fights, Doom. Shout out MF Doom. That's insane. He's dead, right? Totally. Rest in peace, brother. Um, I got one thing to show you on fucking Snap and we can get the fuck out of here. Let's check it out. It's your snap, brother. You ready with me to tell my prison husband I'm pregnant by his cousin? You ready with me to tell my prison husband I'm pregnant by his cousin? Get ready with me to tell my prison husband I'm pregnant by his cousin. Now, that's fucking just crazy. like we were talking earlier, that is one, a delusional man, and two, a delusional woman. <laughs> a delusion. Love after lockup, baby. Love after lockup. But here's a real question. Did they meet after he or was locked during? up? Yeah, during? Yeah, his, during, during his sentence? Or before? Or before. It's probably bef- it's probably during. Or, there's some like down badass girls, you know? Or you or you think or yeah, dude, you could just find a pen pal real quick and get Bro, really just think about it like this. You know like those those videos that we started reacting to but then fucking why made show for me? Uh huh. It's like, hey guys, I'm fucking uh, Idaho, I'm here for the next three years, like shit me out, whatever. Horny ass bitches on there, dog. Horny ass hoes. Oh, yeah, hey, it's kind of cute. I'm wow. crazy. I got a man's. I can't hold a man's down. And What's you're up, up, baby? Yeah. What's up? So it's like they get all his attention, and they love that shit. Yeah, they love it. They so love I it. Bet he you loves they met, it, too. I bet you they met during prison. Yeah? And he's probably in love and love with her. He's probably in love and love with her. Dude, he probably got her, he, he probably got her name tatted. <laughs> probably. Let's be real, baby. Come on. Yeah, I feel really bad for him. And then it's like, cousin's fucked up. Honestly, it's not the cousin's fault. No. That bitch is a hoe. It's not the cousin's fault. It's not the cousin's fault at all. It is not the cousin's fault. But you know what? The cousin is a father now, so he's in some deep fucking water. Yeah, so now it's like... You know you what? Sue, could you sue for that as a prison husband? No. Honestly, no. As a prisoner? Damn, it seems like you ain't got no rights, unfortunately. We got phones and shit now. But is that, like, legal, or they smuggle them in their fucking assholes? Yeah, still. Oh, oh, the man. And shit. Yeah. All right, but I'm ready to go, bro. Me too, dude. Absolutely. Episode 101, baby. Just cracked it. Just did that shit. Knocked it out. Banged it out. Easy money. Another one down the drain. Not down the drain, actually. It's going up to the fucking line. It's going up to fucking heaven, baby. It's going up to the fucking telephone line of Jesus. Call him, man. Brother. 999-333-GOD. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Bagnell with two Gs, underscore between on Twitter. You can follow me um our dungeon page at Daddy's Dungeon Pod. And then, yeah, Dead Dungeon P on Twitter. I don't post it anymore. I should probably get back and doing that. Brother... Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Sick Poppy with two E's. Follow us on Daddy's Dungeon P uh, Twitter. Uh, we don't post there, but we really should again. Follow us everywhere. Peace. Peace.